Hey everyone, this is Mason again. In today's video, I wanted to just do a quick overview of the PPMs and what they mean. PPMs one, two, and three, of course, that means price, pressure, momentum. And then I'm going to play you a clip of Bob's training on the PPMs, which is available in our indicator package, which is on sale right now for our summer sale. We're reaching the middle of July. The summer sale is gonna end at the end of summer. It's 63% off. This is the best time to buy. It's never been at this price ever before. So if you're interested, click the link below. Now I wanna give you a very simple and brief explanation of one of the indicators that Bob uses in all of his trade setups, which are the PPMs or price pressure momentum. The PPMs are indicators that help us understand market trends using moving averages. Think of moving averages as lines that show the average price of an asset over a certain number of days. Bob uses three specific moving averages, the 10-day, 21-day, and 40-day. Each of these helps us see different levels of trends in the market. PPM1, this is tied to the 10-day moving average. It helps us see short-term trends. PPM2 is tied to the 21-day moving average. It's the most important for identifying primary trends. PPM3, this is tied to the 40-day moving average. It shows us the longer-term trends. The PPMs show us when these moving averages are likely to hold as support or resistance, meaning they help us predict whether the price will bounce off these averages or break through them. This is crucial for making informed trading decisions. Bob also talks about something called the angle of attack, which is an aviation term. In trading, it means that if the market is going up too quickly, it's likely to correct and come down. The steeper the angle of the moving average, the more likely the trend is to change. Using these indicators, Bob can tell when the market is likely to trend up or down and when it's likely to change direction. This helps traders make better decisions or when to buy or sell at all. Let's apply all the PPM so you can get the full view of them. Then we'll start to talk about the angle of attack and then we'll go into breaking down the actual rules on a single PPM on one moving average. So we go to indicators, invite only scripts, and we're gonna put them in order, PPM one, PPM two, PPM three, and we'll put on WaveTech 200. So we have them all on here, PPMs to understand the trends when and where the ultimate end of a trend is. So let's take off all of the indicators that are on here right now I will leave PPM one on, so I'll take off all the others. So on the screen now, I have a simple 10 period moving average, which is the red line on the chart above, and I have PPM one. Now PPM one actually tells us all of the internals of the moving averages. In the indicator itself, there's three lines. The primary line is that angle of attack. The other two lines are actually the first and second derivative. Green line is the first derivative, blue line is second derivative. Uh, before I get into showing you the exact rules, I will point out some of the key areas that I'm talking about here. On the indicator below, PPM1, start to see some acceleration. During this time, you see the angle of this moving average start to move up. This is a daily chart that I've got up here. It tells you everything about when certain elements are happen. I will get into the exact rules in a minute, but I just want you to see that angle of attack. And ultimately, when we get all three moving averages, you'll see three angles of attack happening at the same time. Going to the theory that I talked to you about just a minute ago, that there are three phases within every trend. Now, I don't care if this is a five minute graph, a daily chart, monthly chart, it does not matter what the time series is. It is constant throughout the time series. So in this case, you can see those that angle that is occurring. So let's talk a little bit more about the angle of attack. This graphic takes the basic concept behind the angle of attack. As I mentioned earlier, it's an aviation theory. As an airplane starts to climb too sharply, the wings lose lift and rolls over. Same thing if you think about it happens with markets. They go up too fast, they correct back. So the, this really came into play when we were looking at this theory, basically put probabilities on every point along the lines of what the hierarchy was or basically what the probability was for to stay above or below. So let's just go into a little bit more theory here. And as we look at this chart, you can see this angle of attack. Well, sometimes when it gets here, you'll see more of a parabolic move 
like this and these numbers here, this is your whole integer. For the most part, a 0.25, which is being shown right here with this horizontal line, a 0.25 is where a trend level happens. When that happens, if you look down at the probability chart below, it's around 35 to 40%. The higher the PPM goes, the lower the probability that the market will be able to penetrate. So we'll say this is the 10 peri moving average that we're looking at right here. This will be our, our 10 peri moving average. And once it starts to rise at a certain level, the possibilities of the market going through here become less and less as you go up to the point where it's above point, around 0 0.1, 0 0.8 plus, it's less than 10%. Now, sometimes you'll see numbers on weekly charts that'll be two point or five, a uh, five handle where it'd be 5.35. That just tells you that there's virtually no probability that the market will drop below that. Typically when that happens, you'll see when these get to extremes like this, actual moving average that we're valuing is not really going to be in play, but the elements of the trend and the strength of the trend is, now these indicators, the PPMs do not get overbought or oversold. They're not like a MACD or a relative strength. That's not how they work. And I'll be going through that as we get into theory here in a few minutes and actually bring up the PPM so we can start talking about those characteristics. But right now, the angle of attack, this is what, what it's about. So the PPMs are attached to the 10, 21, and 40. So as you'll see as we go through this presentation, PPM 1, 2, and 3, PPM 1 is tied to the 10 period moving average. PPM 2 is the 21 period moving average. And PPM 3 is the 40 period moving average. And we do use in certain circumstances the WaveTech 200, which is tied to the 200 day moving average. So these are all the basic concepts that are involved in understanding at least the angle of attack. Each one of these tell us what the probabilities are, whatever that moving average value is, the probability of the market declining below it if it's a downtrend. Otherwise, it would be the probability of rising above that. So let's get into the actual PPMs here. We're just going to isolate on the 10 peri moving average here and the PPM1. These will be our key elements that we're watching for and it's some very basic concepts here to grasp. It was approximately right here where the market got to a 0.25 and if we drew an arrow straight up from here, it was right about here in this pattern that we got a confirmation that there was a trend and now the angle of attack was in place with that minimum trend of 0.25. Once it hits 0.25, all it has to do is maintain a 0.15 value to, to maintain the trend. It hits initial 0.25, it stays above 0.5. Whenever the market comes back below it, it will most likely hold that value as long as it's there. Now there's exception to this is when this happens over here, when we see PPM1 cross its first derivative, that's where the rules start to change. This happened when we penetrated right here. I'm going to draw this up. This was when the bar was virtually at the highs. And what it suggests when you get a penetration of the first derivative, it suggests that the moving average will be tested. You see, we came right down to it. We held it. The next bar, we went below it. It continued to decline. You'll see the PPM. I'm just going to draw in some things here. It continued to decline to the point where it went through its second derivative, which is the cyan line. Once that happened, now it says the market is rolling over. So I'm drawing some arrows up here. What's happening is it's telling us it's rolling over. And all we have right now is the PPM one. But when those things happen, let me back this up so you understand this concept. When you get the when you get the penetration, here's a positive penetration here. That suggests that the moving average will be tested. And in this case, it was above first and second derivative. So there is a, approximately a 60% probability for the market to penetrate the moving average at that time. 
As I pointed out a minute ago, we got a confirmation approximately here at a 0.25. And then that told us that we were in trend mode. I'll break this down step by step as we go through. But the rules here are the same for PPM2, 3, and PPM200. As once you start to get a break above, a positive break above the first and second derivative, that tells you you're going to get a penetration of the moving average. In the case on the inverse, on this bar here, is where the penetration happened on PPM1 to the downside. What that told us is that the 10 period moving average will be tested. Once we get the penetration through the here to, through the second derivative, that's now putting things into full rollover. You're starting to see negative numbers. You're no longer in trend mode at all at that point. And now you're seeing that the PPM continues to decline and the market enters into a declining market. And all of a sudden you have negative integers here telling you about this downtrend that's going on. When I show you how to combine all three of the PPMs together, then you'll, it'll make sense on how you can combine and what the information that you're getting feedback from, from all the moving averages, they're going to illustrate how strong that market's likely to continue. In this case, without even seeing the other PPMs, because of the way it rolled over, that this was a rollover point and that we did not get confirmation PPM3. This will make sense here in a few minutes. But I want you to know, let me back this up, go through it one more time just so you have this and you understand this concept. Because this is the basis for all of the under... Once you see this penetration here, uh, first and second derivative, that says the 10 period moving average will be penetrated. It's around about 60% probability. So think about that. Six times out of 10, you know that the market's going to rally above that moving average. So that tells you everything you need to know from a trading standpoint. If you see this happen, especially in this case, we even got an outside reversal bar. That just happened to be an incident. But you start to combine events for right now, we're just looking at PPMs, but you confirm it with an outside reversal bar. Maybe if you're a candlestick person, you can put a engulfing pattern. You can see different types of dojis and all that happens at the same time that this PPM is crossing over. I said, then the next event on this, everything's in trend mode. Market staying above the 10 period moving average. Finally, on this bar here, virtually on a high bar, you get a crossover here. Now you have a 60% probability that the market will decline below this 10 period moving average. This 10 period moving average all of a sudden is starting a downtrend that I'm drawing in here. And that's depicted in the numbers and the negative numbers that we're, we're getting out of the PPMs at that time. Over here was the confirmation that were negative, took out the second derivative. Everything's in negative mode. Like I said, when we combine the other PPMs, you're going to see more dynamics and more confirmations of what I'm telling you now. But if you just had this one, everything is on the screen that you need to know. If you enjoyed Bob's video and found it informative, click the link below to take advantage of the summer sale today. This offer won't last long, so don't miss out on this incredible deal. Thanks for watching and as always, happy trading.